Hi there, uh, been asked to talk a little bit about uh, business strategy. It's probably one of my favorite topics. Um, it's a really broad topic, and um, firstly I'd like to start off by a little bit of history. The word strategy actually is, uh, comes from a Greek word, uh, strategem, uh, which was actually a military word and all about tactics and approaches uh, when in the uh, the uh, course of war, so to speak. So it's got a lot of history, it goes back well over 3,000 years. Um, and in today's environment and business, be it uh, for-profit or not-for-profit organisations, uh, there's so much relevance around the topic of business strategy. So what is it? Um, well, it certainly has a number of definitions, but uh, good business strategy is about setting really clear, decisive frameworks for the future. Um, making sure that you have a clear documented process and call to action uh, around what matters to your business and particularly putting accountabilities and milestones around what those action plans are for your business. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that um, and demonstrate a little bit of that a little bit later. I'd just like to tell you a little bit about I suppose what I believe are some of the key components of good strategy. I think one of the first things is that there's alignment in the team that undertaking the business strategy process is actually going to be of value. Um, you know, you want to make sure that your team understands and sees the value in the process. Secondly, that any business strategy development process is all about a living document. Um, we are, we're taking an approach more these days of less is more. Um, so in, in prior years, we used to write very, very complex, detailed strategic plans. Uh, we're getting most of our plans down to between five and ten pages. Yes, there's supplementary information that you can add to the base plan, but at the end of the day, the key to good business strategy is having a clear, concise, communicative document that people actually get. Um, you should be able to have team members articulate clearly what the vision and values for the organisation are, um, so that it can be part of the the repertoire of what your business and organisation actually talks about. It's actually something we are just currently going through in our own business and realising the huge potential and upside of bringing the team along in that process. So why, why do business strategy? Um, I think it's a fair question a lot of people do ask me. And one of the key things I would say is that it just helps with what I call uh, determination or clarification around determination of purpose. You know, why do we exist? What are we actually here to achieve? Um, then you can answer questions in the future, you know, what does success look like? And what does it mean for our team in terms of their engagement with that process? It also can help provide a really clear call to action for your team. Um, you've all seen it when you've been part of a team, be it a sports team or any group, there's an amazing alchemy when everybody's working together for good and they understand that you're heading in the same direction. It doesn't mean you don't have diversity, um, doesn't mean you don't have inclusion, but it just means that the, the sum part of all those individuals are all working together for good and that can often produce a pretty powerful outcome. A couple of other things uh, I believe why we need strategies, I think we need accountability, we need responsibility um, and we need people that can take on board responsibilities in the team that actually benefit the organisation and the business as a whole. And that then allows uh, us to measure that and to measure success, to put proper monitoring mechanisms in place, um, and also allocate resources because all of us are challenged in our businesses with a finite amount of resource and how do we make sure we allocate that resource uh, in the right areas of, of the strategy. Right, uh, welcome back. I just wanted to go through a really brief um, little diagram on the whiteboard here about um, a process we often use in terms of setting the strategic direction. Now, I just want to be very clear and say this is not the only way of doing it, but it's just the beginnings of a framework. We use a lot of other tools, uh, which we won't go through today, but one of the first things in that strategic journey is make sure that there's a real foundational understanding of what the values in the organisation are. Um, increasingly we find and understand and see the importance of why the value sets from the organisation drive a lot of the decision making and you'll know yourself how important values are to you individually or may imagine how important from a team collective point of view they are. So values are really important um, 
Again, in no absolute order. Um, another area is that determination of purpose that we talked about. Um, it's not necessarily the same thing, um, but envisioning or understanding where the future state of the organisation is that you want to take it. Vision is a really interesting one because we're not there yet, so it's very aspirational. So we'll often use that word uh, in terms of vision, but purpose is very much about who we are today. So actually spending some time in your organisation, actually doing, working through that's important. Um, there are lots of other components we can include um, at this point, but actually agreeing what the strategies are is actually really important. So uh, often we'll set some strategic imperatives as, as part of this process, but then we start to drill down into specific strategies that your business will need in order to help facilitate the achievement of, uh, of that aspiration. There's a lot of work goes into this part. Um, we tend to often workshop that together. And actually often what I would recommend is that you get someone to facilitate it because you want a fresh set of eyes on the process. But certainly these are three really key components. Um, another component which is really important and I'm gonna emphasize is probably the most critical part of strategy is where things are falling down, is the implementation side. Um, really, really important. Um, some of the key things under implementation are specific actions, responsibilities, um, the metrics and monitoring. And these are just absolute non-negotiables. They need to be in place. And so if I have one takeout, I'd love you to think about it. It's a bit easier to do these parts often, uh, not straightforward always, but this is the hardest bit takes time and effort and this is about where the rubber makes the road going forward. And just one last thing, when often we're doing these parts here, we'll often do a, a pre-workshop questionnaire. And um, if you want any support with that, um, please sing out to us because this is really important. We're just working on some assignments currently and we get huge value in actually asking our participants to respond before we set the strategic framework. So. I hope that helps. It's a very simplistic diagram. There are lots of other tools we do use. Uh, but look, all the best with your strategic journey. And it is good fun, but make sure that you've got alignment through these processes. Thanks.